good morning students in today's class we will continue with chapter 2 more on windows okay in last class we have done some points related to windows like media player what is media player it is runs and organizes the digital media files in our computer memory and we have done process of ripping and burning cds and displaying two windows at a time and exploring picture folder and today's class we will start a new topic additional features of window 7 okay now open page number 15 in your book and start reading with me and watch this presentation carefully what are the additional features of window 7 window 7 offers a variety of new features which have simplified our daily tasks some of the salient features of window 7 are as follows first is this is touch screen okay with the touch sensitive screen hardware and window 7 software you can easily flip through photo album and shuffle files and folders without using a mouse touch screen can now also be experienced in mobile phones okay in daily life we are using touch screen in mobile phones it is now very common in tablets also in atm machines for ticket collection terminals now next point next feature is snap Okay, what is snap? Drag one of the windows to the left edge of the screen. Okay, and another to the right edge. In this manner, you can view two windows side by side. It's called snap. Dragging the window to upper edge of the screen will take up the entire screen. dragging the window to the lower edge of the screen will expand it vertically occupying the half screen okay this is the snap and next feature is shake okay what is the meaning of shake what is the use of shake click on the top of your window and without releasing the mouse button okay top of the window and without releasing the mouse button give your mouse a shake okay like this every open window except the one you are working with will disappear okay this is the process of and use of shake feature of the window set okay all they will be minimized okay not closing but minimize now next feature is arrow flip 3d what is the use of arrow flip 3d it is an interesting feature of windows 7 This feature enables you to preview all open windows as a stack. Okay, to activate the arrow flip 3D feature, press window key, tab key combination. You can see arrow flip. Okay. Notice that window will automatically direct you to the desktop displaying the open. Okay, you can see the demo here. To select and view the desired window hold the window key okay hold the window key and use tab key to scroll through as the required window appears on the stack then release both the keys which window you want to work in which window you want to work then release the key now it will open the screen now next feature is searching made easier in window 7 Using Window Seven, we can quickly search for more things like this done window in more places on computer. Simplify, type some text in the Start menu search box, and click on See More Result option above the search box. You will immediately see a list of relevant documents over here: pictures, music, emails on your PC. The search results are further grouped by category and even contain highlighted keywords. You can see here text snip snip pads to make them easier to scan. Okay, now next feature is Windows Seven Taskbar. You can see 
This is the taskbar. We can pin our favorite programs anywhere on the taskbar for easy access. We can preview the thumbnails of the open files or programs by pointing it to their icons on the taskbar like this. To preview in full screen mode, simply move the pointer over the thumbnail. Window can be closed from the thumbnail preview. The new arrow peak feature allows us to turn the open window transparent and make the desktop screen visible like this. To do so, just point to show desktop button at the right side edge of the taskbar. Next feature is jump list. It is a new feature in Windows 7 which takes us right to the document, pictures, songs or websites that we use frequently. To open a jump list, just right click on the program icon on the Windows 7 taskbar. It will display a list to recently modified documents. You can see this is the list within that program. For example, the jump list for Internet Explorer shows recently open websites can jump to any website by clicking on it in the list. Jump list also appears on the start menu. Simply click the arrow next to the program name. Okay, now next feature is Windows Media Center. It is watching TV, movies and other video content on your PC is easier. With a cable connection, we can watch and record TV shows using Windows Media Center. Okay, children, now... Our lesson is completed. Now there is some recap points to revise all the points, main points of the chapter. Point number one, Windows has many utility programs for day-to-day -day applications which are known as accessories. Microsoft Windows Media Player runs an organized digital media file and ripping means copying data from a to a computer and in picture folder you can store digital photos, images and graphic files. Snap is a quick method to resize the open window. An arrow flip 3D feature enables you to preview all the open windows as a stack. Next jump list feature in Windows 7 allow us to view the pinned document, picture, songs or Website that are used frequently. Okay, children, now we have done this chapter. Now go watch this video again and again. Okay, then your points will be clear. And in, I, I will give you homework. Okay, some exercises we have done in earlier classes. Now, today, I will give you some. Question answers of chapter 2 that you have to do in your copy.